Hello and welcome to our latest video. If you're a fan of off-roading but don't want to sacrifice comfort and style during your daily commute, then you're in luck. Today, we're excited to introduce you to the Best of Both Worlds 2024 Land Rover Defender. Alongside truckish rivals like the Jeep Wrangler and the Lexus GX, the Defender is essentially unstoppable on the ORV trail, but sliding behind the wheel to run errands or take a road trip is far more appealing. Its on-road demeanor belies its go-anywhere capability and a trio of available powertrains and three different body styles allow you to tailor the SUV to your unique needs. Want to maximize the cool factor? Try the two-door 90 model. Have a slew of kids to shuttle around town. The extended wheelbase 130 model offers more space and a usable third row of seats. Most buyers will likely prefer the mid-sized 110 trim, as it offers similar proportions to the 90 with a bit more practicality. No matter which one you choose, the Defender oozes personality and even the base models offer more creature comforts than the utilitarian ancestors responsible for launching the Land Rover brand. For 2024, the long wheelbase Defender 130 model is available in a new outbound trim level that ditches the SUV's third row of seats and the rearmost windows to make room for additional cargo space inside and allow for more exterior customization via a slew of available accessories. The 130 model is also now available with the 518 horsepower supercharged V8 that's optional on 90 and 110 models. The price of the 2024 Land Rover Defender starts at $57,875 and goes up to $120,075 depending on the trim and options. We suggest the 110 Southeast trim level as it adds several desirable features to the Defender's spec sheet, including 19-inch aluminum wheels, automatic high-beam headlamps, 12-way power-adjustable front seats, and a digital gauge display. The Defender is powered by a standard turbocharged four-cylinder engine mated to an eight-speed automatic transmission. Of course, every model features four-wheel drive and locking differentials for navigating treacherous terrain. The Defender is also available with a 3.0-liter inline-six which utilizes an electric supercharger and a 48-volt hybrid system. The long wheelbase 130 outbound we tested with this powertrain ran to 60 miles per hour in 6.2 seconds. Buyers looking for additional performance can opt for the 518 horsepower supercharged V8, which hustled the Defender 90 to 60 miles per hour in just 4.4 seconds in our testing. The EPA's fuel economy ratings for the Defender models are mostly consistent, regardless of the engine type. The 90 model with a four-cylinder engine gets 18 miles per gallon in the city and 21 miles per gallon on the highway. If you upgrade to the six-cylinder engine, the 90 city rating drops to 17 miles per gallon, but the highway rating increases to 23 miles per gallon. The 110 model with a six-cylinder engine has the same estimates as the six-cylinder 90, whereas the long wheelbase 130 has a rating of 17 miles per gallon in the city and 21 miles per gallon on the highway with the six-cylinder engine. The V8 variant of the 110 has a rating of 14 miles per gallon in the city and 19 miles per gallon on the highway, while the 90 with the V8 engine gets 15 miles per gallon in the city and 19 miles per gallon on the highway. On our 75 miles per hour highway fuel economy route, a Defender 110X with the optional six-cylinder powertrain delivered a disappointing 18 miles per gallon, and the 130 outbound managed only 19 miles per gallon in the same test. For more information about the Defender's fuel economy, visit the EPA's website. The Defender's interior strikes a balance between premium and utilitarian with design elements from the rest of the Land Rover lineup that will make brand enthusiasts feel at home. Exposed rivets in the door panels add a rugged touch, and a magnesium beam that runs the full width of the dashboard is both structural and aesthetic. The infotainment display is located above a trapezoidal extension of the dashboard, which houses buttons and switches for the climate control system and driving mode. The shift lever and ignition switch are also mounted on this center stack, rather than the center console. Some models have a center console that can be flipped back to create a jump seat between the driver and passenger, 
similar to a three-across bench in some full-size pickup trucks. Cargo space behind the rear seat in 90 and 110 models is limited, but comparable to rival off-roaders such as the Wrangler, the rear seats can be folded to create a larger cargo bay, but those seeking to haul people and gear may want to consider the larger Land Rover Discovery or invest in a rooftop cargo carrier. The longer 130 model offers additional cargo space with the third row stowed, but with it in use, there's not much room for gear. If you don't plan to use the third row, consider the 130 outbound instead, which eliminates the rearmost seat to prioritize cargo space. The Defender's dashboard features a 10-inch touchscreen infotainment system that runs Land Rover's new Pivi Pro interface, a larger 11.4-inch display is optional. Compared to the rest of the Land Rover lineup's Touch Pro Duo interface, the Defender system relies on a single touchscreen, offers quicker response times, and can handle over-the-air software updates for future releases. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are both standard, as is an in-dash navigation system, a six-speaker stereo, and an onboard Wi-Fi hotspot. Both 10 and 14-speaker Meridian stereo systems are optional features, and buyers of higher-end Defenders receive a digital gauge cluster and a head-up display. Among the available driver assistance technology, the Defender has several unique systems tailored for off-roading and towing. For more information about the Defender's crash test results, visit the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration NHTSA, and Insurance Institute for Highway Safety IIHS, websites. Key safety features include standard automated emergency braking with pedestrian detection, standard lane departure warning with lane keeping assist, and available adaptive cruise control. So, what do you think of the 2024 Land Rover Defender? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more exciting content. Thanks for watching.